Hello and welcome to The Witcher 3. Now this has been my a game that I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. Witcher 2 is definitely maybe one or maybe two on my list of the best PC games I've ever played. Um, Mafia 2 is also up there and there are a few others but we won't get into those quite just yet but this is definitely a game I'm going to be looking forward to and I thought it would be interesting just to go through and look at one of the trailers this is not the latest one um, I will be having a look at that one as well but in the meantime let's just get in and have a look and see what we think of this because uh, it's a game I cannot wait I wish I was in a time machine or it could put me to sleep and I could wake up on the 19th because um, uh, lock the doors, get yourself some Red Bull food, surround yourself and just play this game to death. I cannot wait, absolutely cannot wait. So this is one of the first screens we get to see and it looks like we're playing this on the PC with the 360 pad. Uh, which is what I did with Witcher 2. I really couldn't get into it with the keyboard and it's just, with it being a third person game, it is much easier, or it was for me, to use it with the 360 pad. So if I remember rightly, this was you clicking your left thumbstick and this brought up your spells or your ads. And as we can see, we're using Igni here, which deals fire damage. And you can click on this and it'll slow you down slightly in real time in battle. Um, uh, to use one of these and it looks like he's using the telekinesis blast and uh, we've also got equipped down here uh, some grape shot bombs which inflicts shrapnel damage to foes within its explosive radius deals a small amount of fire damage and it destroys monsters nests um, and you actually have to create these it's not something that you pick up Beautiful. And then as we come out of the dungeon, a little bit bright for our eyes. And wow, if we just if we just pause it there actually, you can actually see the quality of the textures over on this side of the screen. Um really nice and as we can see, um we must be pretty high up here because we're almost up in the cloud level. Uh, I know there's clouds up here, but uh or there's a great fog down here. Um and we can see it's actually up at six in the morning and I'm presuming these are going to be this is the distance to the storyline uh, up here and this one I presume will be our own waypoint I mean I'm not this is not confirmed and obviously this is our objective down here I mean, as you can hear, there are, there's going to be lots of things in this that you don't even notice. All the trees and everything are actually moving. There's nothing static here. And you can actually hear the wind blowing in from the right-hand side when uh, sound, sound headphones on. And um, obviously we know now that um, from the developer videos that all these mountains are going to be accessible if you can get to them. Uh, as in, you have to work out how to get there. Now, I'm going to pause it here because I was looking at these rabbits, but over here, there's actually what looks like a baby dragon. Now, <laughs> I don't know whether that's confirmed or what this is. Um, it definitely looks like a baby dragon, and I've noticed that he's not actually hanging about. We're going straight down there, so whether we're at a level where we could take that on, I'm not sure. It could be this. Who knows? Incidentally, um, all Gerald's or Gerald's horses are called Roach. Now, Roach was a character that was in the second Witcher, and I'm not going to explain who he is in case you haven't played the game yet. You've still got time with the game being a month out. Really, I can't encourage you enough to play Witcher 2 if you haven't played it. It's just an absolutely fantastic game. And as I mentioned, um, I presume we're going to be having several different horses because this is a different coloured horse to some of the other ones we've seen in the other trailers. Come on. Now these look like wraiths. And rather than just 
flying around like you get in some games they actually seem to have either come from the ground or actually in the trees and we know that CD Projekt Red have said they've spent a lot of time on the environmental um, animals and things like that to make the world more believable and what actually happens is the the enemies, we'll call these enemies shall we they will actually interact with each other so if we were to uh, start being attacked by these we could ride into the castle or into a village and depending on whether there's any uh, uh, fighting units in there they will fight these guys or if there's any villagers they'll actually run and hide into their own houses which is I think is a really nice touch that they've added so you don't always have to fight on your own so we've got these rolling mountains here uh, nice real 3d dynamic clouds and there's some sort of tower here um, I'm sure there are going to be so many places in this game where we see something on the horizon and we want to go look at it Noticing a little bit of pop up here, they have said that they're working on this, uh, obviously this is a work in progress, this is not final release, uh, and I've got total faith in CD Projekt. Not so fast, Roach. Now usually when it comes to games, I always turn the music off because uh, it does my head in, but this is going to be the one game where I, I will be having the music on. I'll probably turn it down a little bit to 80%, 70% maybe, but I'm definitely going to be having the music on this. Again, one of the best developers out there and they really are passionate about the games that they create. Dum dum dum. Crows. So ominous. Hi, could he? How could he? Three sons I gave him, all healthy lads. So it, it looks like the, there's going to be lots of um, separate storylines we know in the game, and even the NCPs that you can't interact with have their own stories. I presume. Her farmer's husband or whatever has gone off and bummed some young baton girl. Who knows? Um, but you can, in The Witcher 2, you can just sit in the villages and just listen to the conversation. Everybody's got a job and their own cycle, and this is 24 hours a day. It's not pre-scripted that this person will walk here and then back. They may go up here and do the job and come back, and that's part of The Witcher's charm is the AI routines. Three sons I gave them. Windblade. Oh, healthy lads. Slow now, whoa. Not sure what this scattered guy's doing here. Is he throwing up? Poss possibly. Um, ooh, what are you saying? Uh, and this is our objective here. So, this is the notice board where we're going to be picking up jobs and uh, side missions and all sorts in here and um, I'll pause it briefly here but you can pause it on each one if you want to read what each one of these is whoops a little bit too slow but you can pause the video if you want to see what some of those are very interesting <laughs> oh I must have sent men against the black ones obviously we're not quite sure who these are not expecting anyone to strike from the sea and um, as we can see from this village a lot of these soldiers are in this red. Um, again, I'm sure we'll find out whether this is just the village colours or whether this is the um, the uh, nation that they're supporting. Um, I'm sure this will all be uh, be developed in the story. And as we can see, there's lots of interaction with wildlife here, birds up here. Uh, we've got cats, chickens. Um, you know, every and all the NCPs are doing something. Um, and as we can see, it's five past seven in the morning. Again, we've got more guys here from this clan, I presume, uh, wearing their colours. Red here. Um, it's obviously got some sort of huge hacks here that looks like one of those cleavers for taking your head off by the looks of it. Um, we've got another guy here walking up here. This guy seems to be 
practicing uh, sword play in the uh, in the field here. And we've also got what looks like four clansmen. Um, not sh quite sure where they're going. They could be heading up to this way, I presume. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to find out what these actual colours mean. We've obviously got the horns up here as well. Got an offer for you. So it looks like they're from the clan, clan and Krath, um, and and he's one of the guards. Nice little horns here. Uh, the tapestries here around his around his wrist. Uh, yeah, nice. All right, let's speak to this guy. No, no. What's this offer? Got a. Now, if we stop here for a second, just look at the quality of this. You don't really notice it in the video because it goes by that quick. Got some beautiful twisted chrome here on this uh, sword. One of them's a, one of them will be a silver sword for killing monsters, and the other one is for killing humans, which is a steel sword. But even the actual texture in here and the actual model on his arm is fantastic. You know these metal rings here. Uh, you can actually see the stitching as well down here, and uh, the buckles and. Um, yeah, it's it's just really, really nicely done. Even this thing around here, these um, uh, nice bracelets. Uh, I forgot what you call them now. Go on your wrist, um, and obviously this is some sort of um, sheepskin rug or goat me. skin. They do. If you're and again, this guy got silver down here. This almost looks like samurai armor under here with fine stitching tortoise, and then the leather round, which is giving that that sort of Saxon heathen feel to it. Um, loving this thing. This is just cool. Um, obviously, it looks quite rough with the beard. Looks like he needs a wash. Looks like he hasn't washed for a long time. Uh, and even here on Gerald Scabbards here, you can see you know little bits where it's flaked off. Um, really nice texturing on here. You're willing to partner with me? Usually work alone. Could pay to make an exception this time. It's not every day you get a chance to work with the most renowned bounty hunter north of the Yaruga, Jenga Fred himself. I'll bite. What's the famous Dienga Fret need a witcher for? I'm guessing you're a man of the world. Perhaps you've come across the Grossbart brothers in your travels. You hunting them? Aye. Quite the rogues they are. Three of them. And everyone's got a pack of rapes and murders under his belt. Even took to grave robbing lately. Easy to recognize on account of the yellow caps they wear. Folks see three yellow tops, they flee to their huts. Which don't help much, of course, because they're also fond of arson. No, haven't met him. If you do, tread careful. They're quick to stick a knife in a man's gut, often just by way of greeting. Doubt they'd try that with a witcher. You never know with that lot. Right, well, I head south soon. Haven't looked there yet. Fare you well. We might meet again someday. What's just interesting is we know that there are hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of quests. And um, this is like the kind of quality that you'll get from a side quest. It's not just the main missions where it's, um, you know, speak to somebody in third person and then zoom off. You actually get this interaction. Uh, and we're told that many of the side quests are just as interesting with their own branching storylines and decision making. And the decisions you make actually affect things further into the game throughout it. Um, we're also introduced here to this depth of field effect. Now, some people don't like it, some people do. Um, it is quite cinematic, and um, I'm probably going to leave it on because um, it's the vision of the developers and not what they want you to focus on, really. You're certainly not going to mess with him. Look, it's a right beefcake. Um, but then again, we are a witcher, so uh, we're quite tough. Gah! So we're now we're heading to Kea Trolda Harbour. I don't know why I said it in the accent. Uh, it's one of the busiest ports in Skellig. Goods from every corner of the world are brought here to be sold and traded. So we're actually quite far inland from the sea there. Um, and obviously we're moving up to the port, port area here. Now there are a few loading screens, but it, it, it is to be expected. And these loading screens are really not that long at all. Wow. I mean, just look at the lighting. It's just, it's really, really nice. And I actually like the, the, these geese as well. The way that they flap the wings up when they run is a really nice touch. 
Now, of course, we know we're going to be able to get up here. What a teaser. I mean, look at the size of that gate or the archway. Whether there's water gushing through here, I don't know, but that's quite a fortress up there. So here we are in the next part, and just look at these characters. That they seem really quite believable, and it's only when you really pause it you get to see the quality of the art, well, of the actual texturing and the modelling here. So we know that this guy is a Witcher um, because he's got his little pendant down here. Uh, but everything on here, I mean, even th this buckle here. It's got what looks like slight little slashes in it that you don't really notice when you're watching it because obviously you're focusing on the eyes. But it just shows the detail that they've gone into to this. Nothing feels new. I mean, this obviously this leather, you can see it's been stained and worn. I presume this might be blood at some point. Um, just amazing texture. And this here, I thought it was a flat texture, but on this side it actually looks like these are 3D rings. I may be mistaken. But there's other things as well, such as we know he's aged by his crow's feet and these scars, and um, we know he's battle warned basically, and his eyes terrifying. Um, but it's little things like there's even little creases and cuts down here, um, and these seem to be all individual hairs. So there's there's loads of detail in these models that you don't actually notice. He's got a shiny ear. I don't know what that's about, and his mate's obviously got a cut or something here. Uh, yeah, really, really impressed with the uh, texturing quality. Help me! Help! how they can get emotions over in just a simple hand gesture that was uh, the, the look of expression was i fucked up and then the hand was i know i know i'm okay uh, really really cool gone. yeah come out now we can tell by old pudding idea straight away <laughs> that um this is obviously some sort of farmer or peasant um, but he's not the lowest of the low. I wouldn't imagine that this guy is a farmer. He's obviously a trader because of the cat. Because we can see he's got a little bit of money by these rings. And they've said that they've put a lot of thought and detail into the costumes and the way characters are dressed in the mannerisms and everything. And you can tell a lot about a character supposedly by the way they look, talk and the way they dress. Um, obviously, we can see he's a little bit dirty, whether that's from this fight or not. Um, but I'm sure we'll find out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. A griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain shore, but here, near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood. Now this seemed to this scene to me looks like it needs a little bit of anti-aliasing. I was not 100% sure whether this is on the PC, whether this is PS4 or Xbox One. But there seems to be, if you look down here, there's quite a bit of shimmering that looks like it just needs finalising. We could probably sort that out in the NVIDIA Inspector, if you've got an NVIDIA card. Um, but it, it is something I have noticed that occasionally it does look a little bit low res. But then again, at this size, it's freaking 32 times bigger than Skyrim. We've got to give them a little bit of credit for the amount of detail that's in this as well. Um, got leaves up here. I presume these are some sort of orchards or fields. I'm not sure why it's showing of these or what we can do with them. Whether maybe we can pick lilacs and gooseberries. Who knows? Um, Quarter past ten in the morning. Bright sunny. 
and I presume this is 94 seconds or 94 man footsteps to get there to our objective. Those monsters crazy sometimes. Men too. We need to watch ourselves at White Orchard, and we should leave as soon. Lots of little things in here, just like this little kid playing with a bow and arrow. We've got people over here. Uh, looks like they're fishing or something like that. Little kids playing around. Lots of things to make the villagers feel like they're actually lived in. There's some guy over here fixing his fence. I don't know if you noticed that as he come into this. I don't know whether this is like the, the central hub house of the village. It could be. Fantastic. Again, just the the way that they've uh, sorted out the costumes and everything else. I love these paintings we've got in the pub as well. Adds a real rustic character to it. And again, this this leather piece down here, we can see it's worn or it's cracked. It's been used, and even this helmet. Um, we can see this is old. Nothing's been brand new, uh, which you'd expect in a lot of games. Everything looks brand new and shiny. Some sort of Bowie knife here. A nice carving down here on these mugs. Um, so he's in blue, whether we're, we're in a completely different section that supports a different leader, we're not sure at this stage. Witches. Again, just the way he looks, you can tell it's almost like a look of disgust. They've really got the emotional aspect of it over really well. We can see this guy's a bit of a, a bit battle-hardened by the looks of it, uh, with these Celtic tattoos down here and this um, sheepskin down here. And by the looks of it, with us being, we were heading towards the harbour, it said earlier, we can see he's obviously must be some sort of sailor, possibly. Um, or, be, or maybe a hoodlum, like these uh, collarbones here with the chains and the skull, very cool. And again, this guy's in blue, I don't know whether there's any correlation between these and uh, lots of flowers hanging down in, to give it that more musty, rustic feel. Um, it's even leather cod piece. <laughs> I'll not drink with weaver lost freaks you'll pay with your fucking head military camp and I saw this on the other trail and I just thought this was really cool that helmet is just ace <laughs> it looks like a cooking pot turned upside down it's got that bashed in metal steel feel to it or iron feel and just just look at the quality of that modeling it's fantastic actually it looks like a real person with his beard um, and again, these are not going to be the highest quality. You can see here little things that you don't really notice until you pause it. There's actually rust in here. It's actually rusted into his armour. And there's a split there as well. Nice little buckles. They've both got the same swords. And it looks like when we cut out in a little bit, you can see that all this is, is broken and rubble. Um, so we're obviously not at the best uh, castle. No village. locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. Again, looks like somebody's hit this dude with something. He's got a battered helmet. There's a joke in there somewhere. Make your own joke up. Uh, obviously, I don't know whether these are the guard's colours, this red colour. Uh, this guy didn't seem to have that much red on. He seems to have got this orange and grey thing going on. Um, so let's just see if we find out what we go tower. through. Go. Again, before we go through, we can obviously see that this has obviously had a major battle here. Or something's gone on. Looks like it, it's decrepitated. Uh, the wooden gate, you know, you could easily knock that down, bricks and everything. So, uh, yeah. This is not going to be a top end castle wherever we are. And again, as we come through, I love the foreboding music. Lots of rubble down here. Um, this looks like a workbench rather than an actual sitting bench. All this down here, it's absolutely decrepitated. Um, the castle just looks absolutely fucked, whether there's a battle gone here, who knows? Uh, 
Glory to the great sun. Uh, so we're obviously in Nilfgaard. These are the Nilfgaard guards. I don't know if that's a coffin or a flag or what that is. Um, so it looks like we're going up here. They've obviously got their, their banner up here, but look, it's absolutely fucked. It looks like it's going to fall down at any time. This guy's looking out for somebody. Not quite sure what this guy's doing and whether he's a merchant. Although we have got this here, so whether he's um, making armor for these guys. Um, and this guy's wearing the red, whereas the other guy's wearing orange. Whether this is later in the game and they've come together, who knows? How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look, see the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. What I love about this character is... It doesn't look like a generic character, if that makes sense to you. Such as whereas the farmer's face was quite forgettable. You're not going to forget that face. It's quite a strong character. And um, I'm hoping that that's intentional because there are going to be many 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 different characters in this game and um, if you take a break and come back to the game you may not remember his title but you're going to remember who he is and remember his face but not only by this but by his armor as well Geralt of Rivia Witcher Vatgarn this explains why I did not hear your footsteps what do you seek here Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. This is probably going to be the tower that we were looking at earlier in the video. And uh, look at these wraiths, even though the wings, the textures here, it's all split and torn. Something's obviously been killed or died here. And uh, look at these mountains, absolutely beautiful. I would imagine there looks like a, a, a road or a path that's leading up here into there. It's, a, it's a, one of those games a little bit like uh, Dragon Age where the eye sees and you want, I want to go there, but then again I want to go there and it's going to be a matter of uh, exploring everything. It's just as much fun as actually getting into the combat as well. Now this is the infamous crossbow. I don't know where he put that, maybe in his cod piece. And it looks like this could be the level of this monster. Obviously it's health and stamina, or shield maybe. And uh, this is how many uh, crossbow shots we've got with this. I don't know whether it shit itself or what's going on down here. I love the audio. <laughs> Fucking have it. Now we know in game there are lots of different options. You can uh, make love to your woman. Uh, that looks like it was in Witcher 2 as well. Um, you can also play out your own fantasies. So 
if you wanted to, you could probably bum all three of these and thoroughly enjoy yourself while you're at it. That's one big beast. I'm not talking about his todge. I'm talking about this down here. Um, again, detail on it. We can see it's marble. It's slightly reflective down here. Don't know who this dude is, whether this is the Emperor. Um, but yeah, uh, wouldn't we all like to be him right now? Oh, she's been blushing. I don't know what she's been washing. Uh, is that a tattoo under there? Nice. Um, and she just looks innocent. Filthy, this one. Andy, you're getting off track. We're not talking about these. Let's keep pressing play. <laughs> See you later, girls. Oh my god, and this guy with his chops, he obviously looks like he's been in this position for a long, long time. We can see, you know, he's quite aged. Again, nice texturing, stretching of the skin here. Really nice, really nice texturing. Mm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. Now we know from the uh, developer uh, bios uh, are the blogs if you've been reading them. There are going to be 16 free DLCs coming and one of them is beards and hairstyles so you will be able to, I don't know, put corn braids in there or uh, it's not going to be as daft as an afro or at least I hope not. Uh, but there will be uh, haircuts and beard styles that will fit into the Witcher universe. Uh, but obviously you can change them at certain points in the game improved, including this so we can probably say yes or no at this point. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. Amazing music. Now, I don't really need to talk over these because they just look absolutely fantastic. Again, we could talk all day about the texture and the quality of some of these models. Absolutely brilliant. And I'm just a shame that I didn't manage to get hold of the collector's edition. Obviously, I'm getting the PC version. Um, I've got a 780 Ti and I even thought about updating my card and my processor because I really want to get the maximum out of this game that I possibly can. This could be part of the Dark Hunt um, or the Wild Hunt. Again, look at this. It's just cool. We've got Chrome down here. Um, really foreboding these guys walking through this down here whether they're going to battle or come back from battle. Is that a crow? No. Once we were many, now we are few. Hunters. The graphics on that were just insane. In fact, let's just go back a little bit. Is it going to let me? Yes, we go. Once we were many, now we are few. Hunters. I mean, just look at the quality of the lighting on that. That's amazing. I presume this is going to be a cutscene because um, we're looking at old uh, L. Saxon here with his. Uh, why was that? People in heavy metal used to think that's cool. I'm into deathcore and I was in the metal scene for oh, years and years and years. Never ever would I wear studs like this. It's just garbage. Uh, now these are what you call fucking demon zombie looking creatures. Even the water splashed down here. Um, look at them, they're fucking terrifying. Killers of the world's filth. Witchers. The ultimate killing machines. Among us 
a legend. The one they call Geralt of Rivia, the White Wolf. Now, look at the quality of that. Even these hairs look like they've been individually put in here. Now, if you've got NVIDIA, you can use Hairworks, which comes with it. And there were some really, really cool creatures in The Witcher 2, including something that lived under a bridge. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But the creatures seemed believable, which added to the, uh, the whole world um, in The Witcher 2. We meet again, Witcher. Your Imperial Majesty. That just looks fucking amazing i love the way that these are all in black and obviously we've got the light coming in that lights him up basically he's the centerpiece he is the obviously the king or the ruler um and this whole scene just reminds me of game of thrones um you can imagine that being the throne there with all the swords um with that little shit there and the sissy or what she was called and he's good bumming the queen uh she bummed a brother but that's a different story if you haven't seen it <laughs> yeah it, it Absolutely amazing, and it's the voice of um, oh, not Tyron Lannister, one of the Lannisters. Um, really adds to that character as well. She's returned, Geralt. She's returned with her massive tits. Oh, beautiful. After all these years, are you sure it's her? A nice ass. Yes, and she's in. My God. Really, I mean, can, uh, look at the quality of this. I, I hope this isn't CGI and this is in game. Even if it's a cutscene, fucking hell, this looks amazing. Actually, looks like this haystack here or these roofs are actually on fire. It just looks amazing. Angel. Witnesses claim the wild hunt follows her. You must find her. And when I do, what then? I shall give her what she deserves. White Wolf, at last. I come for her of the prophecy. Every decision you make will bring devastation. Each choice will lead to a greater evil. The, the main character from the Wild Hunt, th that voice, it's like... Uh, Absolutely brilliant. I'm listening to this with the uh, 7.1 headphones on and a butt kicker. And the fucking bass and power of that uh, demon enemy is amazing. Uh, I did wonder whether this was a, a later build as well because the grass quality is better. I mean, even that you can see the, the, the fibers and the feathers as well on this. Um, and really, I could have paused at any point during this trailer. Uh, and every single cutscene was just like, oh my god. <laughs> We know what he's doing there, don't we? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Because I can't fucking wait for this game. I honestly cannot wait for this game. If you're going to get the game, I beg you, please don't torrent it. They're one of the best developers out there. They really do respect the, the gamers out there with the DLC and the quality and the amount of effort that they put in. I'm sure that if they weren't happy with this game, they would delay it another six months. And people who have played the other Witcher games and know about CD Projekt would be completely happy with that. Disappointed, but completely happy because that's what you get. Fuck EA and Ubisoft and all them cunts. CD Projekt. Absolutely fantastic. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.